This is a drawbar. Its purpose is to clamp and secure the tools in the spindle of your milling machine. It's basically a threaded rod which pulls the tool holder or collet up, firmly locking it in the milling spindle. However, this drawbar is not original. In fact, it is just a long M10 screw with a hexagon socket. This alone is not the problem, but the whole drawbar thing on this machine is designed badly. In order to release the tool again, you have to unscrew the drawbar of course, but as the Morse taper is not self-releasing, the tool sits still tight in the milling spindle. To loosen it, you have to hammer on top of the drawbar, which is like hammering directly on the milling spindle, which you can imagine is not fun for the bearings and the spindle assembly. So let's make a better one. I start with a piece of 25mm round steel bar from 42 Chromo 4 tool steel. When cutting it to the right length, the bandsaw obviously ran too fast, ruining the saw blade and resulting in a crooked cut. Now I clamped the raw bar in the new 100mm forger jug of my lathe and machined the first side. The 42 Chroma 4 tool seal machines quite nicely, even on my small little machine. On one end, the part needs an M10 thread, which I cut without a relief cut, meaning that I have to react pretty fast at the end of the thread to release the tool. With the first side finished, I machined the other side in the collet chuck of my lathe. Now all the lathe work on this part is done and I can clamp the part on the milling machine to mill the square for driving the drawbar later.
A nice big chamfer finishes the part. And this is the finished new drawbar. And yes, you probably see the little oopsie on the square. I'm obviously not familiar yet with my new milling machine. But it's not bad enough for remaking the part, so I will live with it. Especially given the fact that I will change to an SK30 spindle sooner or later, making this drawbar needless in the future. I machined the drive square so that it matches the clamping handle of my milling wise, so I only need one tool for both. A short test fit before I continue machining. Now I need a new collar, which also retains the drawbar, so no more hammering on the spindle is needed to release the tools again. A piece of round C45 tool steel will make the new part. On my drill press I drill two holes through the sides of the part for two and six grub screws to clamp the part onto the spindle shaft. Short test fit and drilling a second hole for the second grub screw I added to the new part. Now I can finish the collar on my lathe again. And again a short test fit with all the parts before cleaning everything and finally assembling the new drawbar and collar onto the milling spindle. And for the end of the video, a short demonstration of the work principle of the new drawbar assembly. You insert the collet with your tool, screw in the drawbar until it's hand tight and then clamping it with a milling vise handle until it sits tight. For releasing, you just have to unscrew the drawbar. The tool doesn't fall out as it is not self-releasing, but by further unscrewing the drawbar, the tool gets pushed out thanks to the new collar I made, which prevents the drawbar from just screwing out of the spindle as it was the case before the modification. 
So I hope you found this short episode interesting. Thank you all for watching and till next.